Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we're the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a special guest with us all week long this week. She's staying on board. The lovely, the amazing, the intelligent, the smart, the debonair. Ooh. Char wow. Charlie here again with us today. You've read so many adjectives describe y'all at once. the nicest thing anyone has ever said about me. Oh, oh got it. Anytime. Nice. Uh, <laughs> on the last episode, let me just give a quick recap. On the last episode, we're underneath, uh, I don't know, we're here. We fought we a giant fought skeleton Skeletor. guy. Skeletor. Yeah, we're just kind of exploring this area. Um, and we're also talking about war crimes and, you know, yeah. old people. Charlie told us she bought a $230 lamp, and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I Completely did. Completely off the topic of war crimes and old people. But, yeah. Let's, I what, did. What kind of lamp is it? So, it's from Crate and Barrel. Oh, oh that's I'm not cheap. I'm trying to, like, be an adult and decorate my <laughs> space like as an adult. an adult. Okay. Uh, you know? Enough, yeah. So. Is that a slight on our decorations? No, not at all. Jonas, this no. is your decoration. How long have you guys lived here? My decorations? Keep it this this here. seems very... You guys have been here a long time. Let's, huh? Yeah. How, yeah. When's last, when did you start your, your lease here? Oh, God. It's been many years. I mean, yeah. we've renewed it numerous times. Yeah. So I've always moved. And so Me now too. I'm like, I really like my place. And I want to decorate it as like a grown-up. So okay. last night that, I was at so yoga. So 200 thousand. $230 lamps is grown up. It was very shit. specific. Okay, last night I was at yoga and they had this beautiful lamp. It's like in the class, you know, all the lights are off, whatever. And it, they got this lamp. It's like a big old rectangle and the right. shade is the whole lamp. It's not the just like the lamp shade on top. Huh. The whole, it's like basically a tube. But the shade is like the oh, whole lamp. I, I had a cheap okay. version of that. So yeah. I looked for a cheap version. Amazon had one for like eighty, but the reviews were terrible. They uh, said like the stitching came out and what's that? Uh, what's that place that sells buildable furniture? IKEA. IKEA. Yeah. Oh my I god! I looked at IKEA's. They're so ugly. Yeah, but oh, yeah, I, so I think ugly. that's maybe where they. I and don't they know. were white, and I wanted like a natural tan brown. You know, like a right with a good color. shade and yeah. like yeah, yeah, I feel you. Okay. And so literally the only place I could find one was well, I found one in Wayfair, but again it was white. And, a, and Crate and Barrel popped up. And oh, my I was God. Like, they're so expensive. Oh, my God. I know. And I got 10% off. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> got real good. So it was $250, they, essentially. They got me there. Well, tax, you know. Oh, my God. I and, but, I, but, but then they wanted to charge me $28 for shipping. For a I lamp? Like, I'm spending $200 at your store. Excuse me. So I'm doing uh, pickup in store for free. But it's a beautiful Where's lamp. Where's Crate and Barrel like, at? Uh, Gateway. I don't even know where that North. is. North. Arboretum. Oh, sort of. that's the part of the area I don't know. Yeah. Well. Okay. All right. I used to live up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, like what made it. you move out? Uh, my office is down here. Oh. And now it's back up there, so. Interesting. Well, it just keeps moving. moving. For work. So, what does this two hundred and thirty dollar lamp do for you? <laughs> uh, is that a normal? Yeah. So at, at yoga, I was like blown away. It. it she said at yoga. The one at yoga was a little bit bigger, but I couldn't find one that big. And once I saw it would have been five. Yeah, that, that's what. I, when I saw the price was two hundred thirty for the smaller one, I'm like, I don't even want to know. Is it only like know. three foot tall instead of six foot tall? Is that no, no, it? it's not height. It's like bigger width. Uh, it's like a square. Like do, you, do you have huge. a picture of the lamp? No. Oh, of my lamp? Yeah. The one I bought? Yeah, yeah. Oh, not the yoga lamp? Not the yoga one. I should have taken a picture, but show, I, show I'll be picture. back tomorrow. Show, so. show us a picture of your lamp. Okay. Let's find it. And then um, tomorrow, send us the comparison photo, and I'll be like, oh, yeah. that's You're a good like, lamp. That's a way different. That's a good lamp. No, but it's just, it, it emits Quality like a really nice right there, light, baby. because my issue with a floor lamp is that they're typically like, there's the light is above you yes and there's nothing blocking it and so it's still like the whole point of a lamp is you don't want the overhead light on you that harsh light you know okay it hurts i, I mean you're talking about shit i've never thought yeah, about. I've never oh my god considered this when i was lamp shopping overhead li la lighting is awful like i don't want to you don't want to you want it below you what the fuck no you want it so soft weird. you want a soft light Okay. So the, since the shade is like the full square around and the lamp, the light bulb part doesn't come out any. I don't know. Is there numerous this. light bulbs in it? I don't actually know. That's, oh, does it even what come with light bulbs? They're going to make me. You're going to have to okay. buy $70 light bulbs for Okay, it so if you want to look this up, it's called Weave Natural Floor Lamp on Crate and Barrel. Here. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's uh, nice. Is that not Let nice? Me take a look at that lamp. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so it's long cylindrical. And it was so 
unique. That looks like I something couldn't... Elon Musk would have in his house. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm, I'm totally returning it now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally <laughs> uh, I was hoping that would be the answer. But it's, She's let's not a see, Musk fan. height 47.24 inches. Whoa! Are we dying? What's I happening? I don't know. How I'm far? scared. 47. Get out of here. 47.24 inches. 47? Let me out. Yeah. So it's four foot tall. Yeah. That's tall. It's a big one. Hey. And it's Crate and Barrel, so it'll last forever? Is C Crate and Barrel known for, like, a good craftsmanship? I'm not sure. I've never... They're yeah, known for they're being expensive. Being expensive. They're known for being expensive. That doesn't necessarily mean it's but good like, quality. Okay, 230 for a lamp that's going to last forever, or 80 for one from Amazon where the stitches are coming out and people complain about that. Yeah, like, I mean, I stitches get, snitches get stitches. Ooh. Amazon lamps get stitches. Mm -hmm. Similar, but different. Yeah. Have you had any more expensive purchases lately? Just my braces. I mean, that's <laughs> worth it. Yeah. They're not cheap. They're no. not cheap, no. They're not fun when you're an adult. You no, pay for I them and your, your parents can't pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> your parents can't. You're like, you're like hey, mom, no. she's going to pay for these? She's yeah. like, uh, no. She, she actually said, I've already paid for them once. So. Oh, is this is this number two? Yeah. I, uh. had, one. I had one when I was young. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Not fun. Wow, she pulled the I already paid for them once card. I know, and they were way cheaper then because inflation. Come and on. you, you <laughs> should have said it's twice then. as nice the second time. You know what I'm saying? They were cheaper and then. And she makes inflation. so much money. Come on. You <laughs> she know? makes so much money. Compared to what she made when I was in elementary school. I'm afraid to ask what she does. If you can talk about it. Accounting. Oh, oh wow. Accounting. Accounting. There you go. That's good money. Hell yeah, for the cartel. But da da da. <laughs> she is Skylar White. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. I've seen the show. Yeah. I know what we're talking oh, that's about. Awesome. I get the joke. <laughs> I get the you joke. Do you announce it? So okay. now do you have now now that you've spent two hundred thirty dollars on a lamp, yeah. do you have to buy other things yeah. that match the lamp? Yeah, I do. And and crate and barrel, once you buy something, they're like we suggest, and they give you a whole room. They already suggested a rug <laughs> and a couch. So be careful, because now I'm hooked. Wow. They're having a sale right now, but everything that's on you sale know, is really not is on it sale. Is really a sale? <laughs> no. So if it was like, already too expensive like, to begin here, with. Here is this microwave, $740. Cream Barrel's not selling microwaves. Do they not sell microwaves? <laughs> God damn. Don't look at me like I'm a piece of garbage. Isn't Crate and Barrel just Hey, like, you got some armor? I got a piece of armor, dude. Oh, I'm strapped. I don't even know. That's what wild. They never find like, anything like that in the house. That's crazy. Yeah. So. Is what, Crane, Crane Barrel kind of like. Crane like, Crane like, Barrel sells microwaves. Are they $700? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my God. They got one for $400. Hey, see, a I knew $400 it. $400 you, Yeah, really? but it's, it's the Breville brand. Is that the most that expensive makes, one? That makes uh, like espresso machines, which that's actually on my list next. Oh, an espresso, an espresso machine, machine to go with your lamp? To go with my lamp. Hey, you didn't bro. know that once you buy a lamp, you got to buy an espresso Living machine. A different type is of seven, life over is $400 here. the most expensive one? 500 See? Yep. And you mocked me. Three for... in one microwave, air fryer, Whoa. and convection. Microwave, oh, air fryer. One, oh, no. my God. This is one of those ones that you have to like put over your stove. You Wait, have to have space to have like install. It I've or never bought a microwave before. Ever? Never bought a microwave. No, they're just in the apartment when yeah. I move yeah. in. Yeah, generally. How much do I mean, I bought a cheap cost? one. To, I mean, you can you can get a cheap microwave for like fifty bucks, but I don't know. What I mean, is that cheap? I thought. I mean, even that's even that's less than that. I think it. Well, like, if you went to Walmart and just needed cheap. a microwave. Oh, like one that you don't need the hood on the bottom that goes. Yeah, above just the oven. sits on okay, the counter. Okay. Yeah, like they're probably like. Oh, 30 I forgot about those. But, like, so if you need a microwave, it's pretty cheap. But, like, yeah, most people, like, would want, like, get the one that goes over the stove or whatever. Oh, oh okay. I think most yeah, people I, would get the $50 there's microwave. There's one at Walmart for 55 that looks pretty basic. Okay. See, I know a lot about microwave costs, especially at Crate and Barrel. Hey, look, if you got it, get the, get the $700 microwave. That's a flex. If, is it? Yeah. You get the. They're mic like, let's microwave this, and then we'll make chicken wings in the air fryer. Hell, yeah. You get to heat up your food in style. Imagine if you have some guy over and you're like, oh, yeah, um, you want your food hooked up in the microwave or the convection oven or the air fryer. Man, and you got all do you want three. it roasted? Do you want that roasted, fried, or microwaved? Exactly. All, it's all in the same unit. Uh, He's like, yeah, oh you my. don't have to move anything. He's like, oh, my God. I'm an advocate for this. I'm an advocate for flexing. So your next big purchase is, to match it is the espresso machine. Okay. $500. Breville brand. 500 Yeah, they have different types but the, it comes with like an auto milk frother 
I don't say no so more. It, so man, it, but I'm I'm on board. It heats up the milk to the correct temperature and froths it for you, okay. and you just put it under. And what is that? I'm lactose intolerant. You never had like a latte? You never had a. You milk. Froth oh my god! You're gonna get a whole set of armor in here. You never had for your milk, free. You never had your milk froth. I've never been a froth <laughs> boy. Never yeah, had. you drink lattes, cappuccinos. I drink black coffee. That's it. I'm a loser. He's that a man. That, he's, a, he's a man. <laughs> he is. He's a real man. I just man. drink black coffee and drink whiskey on the rocks. <laughs> I mean, that's not untrue. Not, not completely, no. I like meat. I drink can, juice. Can I get a steak? I do like juice. 100% juice only, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I drink primarily water. Um, Same. Yeah. Tea. I drink tea. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get off the coffee. I know I said yeah. I'm buying an espresso machine, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm buying a five hundred dollar espresso I'm machine. I'm <laughs> getting off the drip coffee train and only but drinking go, tea right now. Go to espresso. That's even. like exactly it's like yeah. high power that's coffee. A lot of oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. To no, be like I, I'm gonna drink a cappuccino every morning. I love a cappuccino. Okay. It is What's really the difference? Good. Cappuccino, uh, coffee, uh, dyer, caffeine, concentration. No, the way that the right. espresso and milk go in. Is that what it is? You know what? Americano. People buy Americanos. I don't that know. That is espresso that's just, with that's just, water. Isn't that, oh, I was gonna say, isn't espresso it drip and water. That's a crime. I have definitely been to the place, and they're like, "We're out of drip coffee. Can I give you an Americana?" And it basically tastes the same. Yeah, disgusting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean. It's not good. I don't know the difference between the two. To okay, let's even see. Make a, Cappuccino, to even make a latte. Cappuccino, equal parts espresso, steamed milk, and milk foam. Lattes, steamed milk to one shot of espresso. Can, can we can we talk on the whole idea of steaming milk? Oh, so it's ratios. Yeah, it's steaming different milk? ratios of different it's, things. This sounds really suspect to me, steaming milk. Isn't milk like one of those things that you have to keep refrigerated? Oh, yeah, you unless do, you like, steam oat it. milk or almond, almond milk. You can steam almond. Look, that's not yeah, milk then. Yeah, froth it. No. You want like the barista blend oat milk though, because it really froths up. How do you? Froth? Are you you go to Starbucks, don't you? Uh, yeah, but it's not my favorite. What's the fr what does frothing do? Uh, makes it. It makes it uh, thicker. I'm not. I don't want thick milk in my how, mouth. How do you describe? You don't know what frothing? I mean, but why do you froth? Why can't you just pour the milk in? Because you want it thick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've never asked this question before. Na National Women's Month, guys. I do. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Are you making fun of me? No. No. You said you want it thick. It was a joke. Sorry. To it, was, achieve, it was a craft okay, joke. Okay, Google it says joke. it's to achieve a certain texture. It adds a creamy air mouth feel to your coffee and creates a dense foam. Okay. All right. And All right. that's just what it does. All right. Okay. I mean, we'll get frothy on the next one, probably. Yeah. So, you know, on the next episode, we'll talk about some more frothy stuff, more coffee information. Oh, that guy's sad. All right. Uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Charlie. We out. Uh